Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mercedes Sprinter Camper Van Build Series. Today is video 10 and we're tackling the pre-wiring process. This step sets the foundation for your electrical system and is critical, so let's jump right in. Uh, so here are the tools and material that you'll need. You'll need uh, split wire loom, quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch sizes, right? Depending on what kind of wiring you're installing. Um, also metal edge guard. Uh, and both of these are to protect the wiring uh, when it's installed. You'll need various sizes of wiring. I used stranded marine grade wiring. Uh, it's waterproof, heat resistant, cold resistant, anti-corrosive. It's very durable, right? It's made for extreme environments. Um, all of these items are linked below in the description for reference. Uh, now, before we get started, just a quick note here. This video is for entertainment purposes. Uh, it's not meant as a strict instructional guide, right? So always check and follow your local electrical codes and guidelines before you do any of this. So uh, another few points, uh, we'll be running wiring uh, for everything in the van, really. So AC and DC outlets, uh, a TV, air conditioner, water heater and pump, uh, a roof fan, a microwave, a uh, refrigerator, and, and Starlink. Uh, and just to call this out, most of the framing is done, but not all. So I'm pre-wiring before I installed some of the vertical framing pieces so I can see where the gaps need to be left for the wiring to pass through. Once wired, I'll go back and complete the framing and importantly cover the gap where the wires pass through with metal plates to prevent screws from damaging the wiring uh, when installing the finished walls. Step number one, determine the location for everything. By now, your overall van layout should be mostly set. Uh, some components like the AC unit uh, and the roof fan are already in place on this van. Uh, so pick the locations for your AC outlets, your DC outlets, and your switches. Uh, for items like refrigerator, water heater, Having a general idea is probably good enough. Uh, you'll just need to leave extra wiring coiled up in case the final location is slightly different than, than what you have planned. Uh, also decide your electrical cabinet location, right? So this is important. Uh, for this van, it will be behind the wheel well on the driver's side. Uh, this will serve as the central point for all of the wiring to return to. So once you've got all of your uh, locations set or mostly set. Uh, step number two is to wire the driver's side. So I kind of split this into two parts, uh, the driver's side being one part and the passenger side slash ceiling being the second part. Uh, it just seemed to stay more organized that way. Um, you can do it probably any, any way you want to uh, in terms of uh, separating out the work. So uh, starting with the driver's side, it's pretty straightforward. Just pull the wiring through from the load source to where the electrical cabinet will be. Label the wires clearly at the electrical cabinet so you'll know what they are uh, at the end, right? They all kind of look the same uh, when you get done. Uh, and again, run the wires strategically so voids in the framing can be used as pass-throughs to avoid any unnecessary drilling. And very important, protect the wiring. Vans can be used for many years, uh, many miles. Vibration and sharp metal edges are significant hazards. So use conduit and rubber edge protectors where wires pass behind or near metal surfaces. Uh, so in most cases, I, I did both just to be sure. I'll link the protective materials uh, I used in the description below. So now on to step three, uh, wiring the passenger side and the ceiling. This is kind of a repeat of the driver's side. Uh, route the wires overhead to reach the passenger side. Uh, the ceiling wiring includes you know, lighting, roof fan, and the TV. Um, so for this build, I didn't have the appliance cabinet built yet. Uh, this is where the microwave will go, the, the fridge, uh, Victron, touch screen, right? It's where all that will go. Uh, so I'll wait to run those wires. Uh, and I can do that because um, it's close to the electrical cabinet. Uh, I will have access to run those wires. So I won't put wall paneling uh, in the way just due to how this is set up. So one other note here, this is a crucial step in your van build. So quality matters here. Um, you know, invest in trusted brands. Uh, I've linked to exactly what I've used uh, in the description, but always you know conduct your own research uh, and verify the quality of the material that you're um, using. That's it for the pre-wiring. 
uh, in this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more camper van building tips and adventures. And again, check the links in the description below if you're uh, interested in buying any of the materials that I've used. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Yay, vans!